Hi guys, and welcome to Completed It, mate. This week, it's a very special episode, all the way from New York City. I am at Video Games New York, and this is more than just a, a retro game store. It's more like a museum. I've been looking at the store online, I've been checking it out, and I'm very, very excited to get in there. It's actually my birthday this weekend while we're making this, so I think I'm gonna maybe treat myself to a little something something, and hopefully pick up something special to give away to one of you guys. Let's head inside. Please excuse me if I'm looking a bit sweaty. It's a combination of the extreme heat outside and also being surrounded by all these games. I'm very, very excited to be here. It's literally wall to wall full of computer games. So this is pretty exciting. Here is an actual Virtual Boy. Now there aren't too many of these back home. I don't know anyone that owned a Virtual Boy when I was a kid. I've heard a lot about them and uh, I'd love to get my hands on one. Well, we're very lucky now to be joined by Carlos, who works here. How long have you been working here, Carlos? Uh, I've been here for about four years, a little over four years. Are you a big gamer? Um, I'm not casual, but I do play, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a fantastic hobby for me. Yeah. I will say that. In your opinion, what's probably one of the best pieces that you have on offer today? It can range in a lot of different things. It's probably most of the stuff that, uh, we will have in the museum in the back, kind of like um, the uh, like the prototype PS2 that we have. That's it's a really huge PS2 that's uh, meant to be a software development kit. Right. So that one is, I believe, is supposed to be estimated at around like ten thousand dollars. So, what is your personal all-time favorite game? It's actually a fighting game called X-Men vs. Street Fighter. Okay, I know it, yeah. So that game, uh, it revolutionized uh, a, a tag team fighting system and it's fun and it's, you know, Marvel's X-Men characters versus, you know, Street Fighter. It's like the two best universes to, you know, collide in a fighting game. It's, like, <laughs> it's, it's amazing for its time, you know. Right. So here's a fun little game. Think of an N64 game. Think of any N64 game right now and I bet you'll see it. See, told you. It's a bit partridge. How much are these uh, how, uh, virtual boys going for these days? Uh, they usually range. Last time I really seen them for sale, because um, that one, that particular virtual boy is not for sale. Um, they're usually between like $179.99 okay. to like $249.99. Have you got any for sale? Uh, I don't think so, actually. <laughs> Just seen a Game Boy printer. I haven't seen one of these in a long, long time. I think they were uh, they sort of worked alongside the the little Game Boy camera, the little Game Boy Eye that would sit in the back of the Game Boy. Oof! Double Dragon on the Master System. Now we're talking. So I'm actually standing next to the game that killed Atari, E.T. the Extraterrestrial. Possibly one of the worst games ever made. Legend has it that there is a huge landfill site somewhere in the desert in America full of thousands of copies of this game because they just never sold them. So that is a Retron 5. Uh, I've got one of these and they're really, really good. I'm probably gonna do an episode on one of these later, but um, if you can get your hands on a Retron 5, it is brilliant. It plays pretty much all the old cartridge console games. So this is the Retron 5 that I was talking about. What's really, really great about this console, one of my favorite things about this console is it plays all the old cartridge games, but you can also plug in your, uh, your older controllers, so you have that authentic feel. I've just noticed one of these for the N64. It is a game save exchange system. It's called a Dex Drive. 
Um, now I would buy one of these, but as you know, there's nothing wrong with my Dex drive. We've had a lot of fun today, haven't we, boys and girls? New York is one of my favorite places to go in the world, and I think this place has become my favorite place to go in New York. If you ever find yourself in this area, in this neck of the woods, find yourself in New York, I definitely recommend paying Video Games New York a visit. Before I go, it is giveaway time, and this week is extra special. I have picked up for you one of these. It is an Atari 2600, Woody and I'm giving it away to one of my subscribers to be in with the chance of winning this you must Subscribe to this channel tweet and share this video include me in the tweet include the hashtag Completed it mate. That's your lot from me for this week. Please subscribe. Please like please comment I love your comments. I read every single one. So thank you if you do take the time to comment. I'm off Adios